Hey everybody, this is Denny. And this is James from TDB, and we are filming episode number 39. Yeah, so uh, that's incredible. And we and are now middle-aged. Yeah, yeah. We had planned on just doing 16 episodes and seeing if it would be fun, and here we are. It must have been fun. So, we have a black tea from Yezi Tea, and help me out pronouncing this. So, Ching Ping. Ching Ping. Yeah, that's um, relatively... That sounds Incorrect. like a yeah. yeah. That sounds like a white person <laughs> pronunciation of that. Um, this is just a really really good looking black tea. We have not drank this, so this is a blind tasting. Let's, let's let's have at it. Let's do it. So we have a 120 milliliter Gaiwan here, five and a half grams of leaf. Um, you know. I actually did the eye test before, so I actually filled up the guy one with what I thought would be a good amount and then actually measured it afterwards. Uh, just a good rule of thumb or finger maybe is um, for a guy one for black teas, my experience is sort of like a third, maybe even a quarter to a third of the teacup full of dried leaf mm -hmm. is usually a pretty good ratio. Mm -hmm. And we have just off of the boil water here. So I'm going to get this splashing too far, and, um, you know, we'll go ahead and give this a rinse, um, a yeah. real quick one. Looks slightly cloudy, yeah, um, but, but that's not, it's not okay. atypical. Yeah, not necessarily. I've had some very good, uh, Yunnan blacks that have been, um, very cloudy. Right. So, wow, look at the color. Yeah, look at that, Holy very smokes. red. I mean... Black tea in China is called red tea, and I don't know if the person that called it black tea in Britain or whatever was like colorblind or whatever, but red tea seems to be much more accurate to me. That is at very least. true. And you do know that the British didn't think, didn't know that black tea and green tea came from the same plant until late into the. Ooh, I can just smell that yeah, from here. Exporting career. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Roasted, yeah. chocolatey. Yeah, very chocolatey. So, black teas in China, if you've had any, and I, I don't drink these very often, but they are definitely known for having kind of pretty strong aromas, and uh, you're getting a real strong nose off, the, off of uh, this tea, this Qingping. Yeah, wonderful. Do you know anything about this tea besides the name, James? Yeah, so it's grown in Fujian, oh. and that's about where my knowledge stops. So, um, Yezi tea, uh, I... They have teas from Taiwan, some from China too, so it seems like they have teas kind of from all over. Um, and when they emailed me, I asked for oolong tea, specifically Taiwanese oolong tea. As you guys know, we've been reviewing a lot of those. Um, but they were like, okay, we'll send you those, and they did. Uh, some of which I've tried and have been good, others which are still waiting to be tried. But they also said, hey, we have so much confidence in our black teas and feel really good about what we're offering right now. So they went ahead and they sent me uh, these two black teas. And so here we are, having them for the first time. Fantastic. Well, saturation of the color and the hue of this is just brilliant. Red, orange, looks lovely. We're going to actually give this a little second to cool. Um, aroma is, your spot on it is just a fragrant tea. Yes, it is. Um, and, uh, you know, notes of chocolate. Mm. Yeah. A little, um, little grass, like hay -y a little bit. Um, <laughs> kind of like, yeah, a little earthy. Sounds, smells great. Let's yep. give it a go. Let's do it. Cheers. Ooh, wow. Mm. Kind of got that silky texture to it a little bit. A little bit bolder, I would say, than um, your average black tea. Definitely. And I'm not getting... The the dry leaf smell is very chocolatey. The, even the the wet leaf smell is fairly chocolatey. But I'm not getting that in the the taste that much. Mm -mm. No, um, very kind of vegetal actually. It's, interestingly enough, it's like I'm drinking zucchinis or something. Not, not actually. Okay, yeah, that actually like drinking disgusting. zucchinis. That, <laughs> yeah, this tea is like drinking carrots. <clears throat> Some people do like carrot juice. Zucchini juice. Uh, uh, yeah. Who knows? Hipsters. Yep. Um, this is a wonderful tea, especially for a day like today. Got my Seattle hat on, rain on it, so you know that um, it is, in fact, a normal Seattle day. We are in Seattle. This is not a green screen. We're actually not in Miami right now, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, 
But yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I don't usually drink black teas, right. so I have a hard time actually comparing this with other black teas because I have to draw back from like a month ago when I probably last had a black tea. Mm-hmm. But this is uh, this is very drinkable. Totally. Silky smooth, like James said. I like the texture of it a lot. Nice full body. Um, yeah. It lingers in a nice way. Yeah. A uh, touch of bitterness, but not too much. Yeah. Which is yeah. pretty, I mean... Pretty normal right. for a black tea. Yeah. I mean, black tea is famous for being brewed overly bitter and then adding cream and sugar right. to mellow it out. So, um, so yeah. Cool. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. Let's see how it evolves into the next steeping. So, I think I'm going to keep the time... And temperature is going to actually remain about the same because the guy one is pretty well heated at this point. Yep. Nice and small leaves here. Yeah, really yeah. good, high quality looking Maybe leaves. Like young, young baby leaves. Um, anyway, so I was talking with you kind of on the way uh, to filming this a little bit about just brewing black tea because, simply put, I don't brew or drink all that much black tea. Right. And so you're telling me some of like, the common pitfalls of uh, brewing. So what are some things, how, how do you brew tea and what are some kind of the uh, common mistakes to make while brewing black tea? I think black tea and green tea are similar in that the amount of leaf is probably the chief importance characteristic. Um, and with green tea, using too hot of water, especially with a Japanese green tea, is going to really yeah. scald the so tea. Sensitive. It's just yeah. gross. You can be, a, a black tea like this is far more tolerant um, and excuse me while I pour this. Um, so I think that if you're just starting out with some higher quality black tea, my recommendation is to go with a lighter brew and adjust upwards as opposed to the other way around. Because okay. you'll, you'll, you'll experience the flavor of the tea without that gross um, and almost acrid bitterness that can come with way over-brewing, too much leaf yeah. or over brewing. Yeah. Yeah. So, but good black teas, look at how red that is. Yeah, oh that is gosh. a very vivid color. Um, yeah. Good description. Um, yeah, you know, good a good black tea will hold up well under pretty hot water, um, if not completely boiling water. So um, I'd say for the most part, it's kind of like all tea. Go ahead and just um, let's go ahead and taste this. You know, give it your own your own go and adjust accordingly. But I would start with less leaf and then adjust upwards. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We get more of the chocolate now. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. This is nice. Yeah, very warming. Um, Not much bitterness. No. I was actually expecting more considering it was a bolder color, but mm-hmm. um, very, very pleasant, actually. This is nice. Yeah, like hints of fruit. Um, the vegetalness of it isn't striking me as much this go-around, uh, interestingly enough. Yeah, I actually think this would be a great tea... Um, to drink very casually with um, friends and people that are new to tea because this has really strong immediate sensations. The pleasures of it are very clear immediately. Like the aroma that we're getting, the color, just so vivid, so beautiful. And the taste is very, very pleasant as well. Yeah. So I think it'd be a fantastic tea to drink with friends. I think it's totally spot on. Um, And I know that when I do drink tea with people who are new to tea, they do often gravitate to black tea. So, for whatever reason, yeah. um, bold flavors, aroma, color, it's yeah. just a whole sensory experience. So, you know, you, you have to really pay attention, I think, to certain teas that we've had on the show, some of our higher mountain oolong teas that we've had from Taiwan, for instance. Um, there's kind of a sensitivity there that might not be great for the first your first go at tea um but go ahead and experiment see what you like obviously drink what you like too so absolutely <clears throat> yeah yeah cool yeah i think this would be great i think this is a good standalone tea in the morning it could be great with a meal to finish up a meal maybe definitely um it doesn't taste very sweet to me which um isn't uncommon um with black tea but i would say that um i'm i am used to yeah. a sweet tea as well sweet it, tasting it does kind of remind me a bit of oriental beauty minus that honey like sweetness huh, that's a actually a very bit. good description yeah um, cuz it has that chocolatey yeah it has a lot of those familiarities but like oriental beauty is really known for kind of that sweetness that comes from those insect bites, bites and the increased oxidation yeah and uh you don't quite get that here with this tea yeah well this is lovely and uh 30 seconds brew time seems to be pretty good, so I'd say this probably go for another two steepings very solidly, and then who knows, depends on what you want to do. You can add 
really, really hot water. You could throw it in ice water and throw it in your fridge overnight and have a really, oh, yeah. really nice ice. Oh, yeah. I bet it be great ice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's wrap it there. Yeah. So where can people find out more about this tea? Um, go ahead and check out tdb.org. Um, tons of information about teas of all different natures. Um, we love talking about it and drinking it for you guys. So if you want to, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, which is on that site. Um, and then check out Yezzy Tea, uh, yezzytea.com. Um, they're a great company, and uh, we really appreciate the uh, samples. This is It's fun for us to kind of go into these things blind and just see what is available to us. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great tea, high-quality tea. Um, check them out, Yezzy Tea and TDB. All right. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Take care.